Hello everyone and welcome to a developer video log for the Aquinox Deep Descent development. In this development vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit about my approach and overall Digital Arrows approach to game design and the various aspects of it, how we look at it and how we approach it. Game design, in short, for me, is to create something that is fun. That's the basis of a good game design. And when sitting down and coming up with a concept, I have um, kind of a unique personal preference, and that is to switch off technology, like no computers, no cell phones, none of that just a pen and a paper or a notebook and sketch down all my ideas and um, different kind of drawings, write down all my notes. Usually it ends up with a huge pile of notes and, and sketches and um, I end up going through all of them and then refining them and, and taking a new notebook. Usually I tend to fill up multiple of them when coming up with a core concept. And once I have a good core that I kind of like and the rest of the lead team likes and uh, most of the team is actually involved in discussing all the different kind of segments of the game, then I go towards creating the actual documentation just all the way after all these. And this kind of gives us um, an approach where all the design and the initial core design is basically and literally at our fingertips because we kind of have that more personal connection with the whole process and for me this is very important and we actually call these design sessions uh, power cuts because we kind of switch off all the technology so that we have absolutely no distraction. Um, and when we are creating our worlds, uh, we have two approaches. For me personally, it's a better approach to create a basic concept of gameplay and story right away. And once that is laid out, then expand the bigger story, the bigger picture out of that. Although I did use various methods previously where the game world was created beforehand and the concept of gameplay came from the world story itself. There are a lot of ways to approach story and gameplay design and in a lot of cases people ask me whether I find the story or the gameplay more important. That's a very hard question to answer and I tend to ask back the question for what kind of a game are you looking for because um, for a game like Minecraft gameplay is way more important that that game focuses on gameplay pulling the player into a creative process and it makes you lose sense of time because it's extremely fun and it's extremely gameplay focused while a game like Max Payne 1, for example, uh, it, it's all about the story. It dra drags you into the game because of the story. Obviously, it has really good gameplay as well, but most of the gameplay actually comes from the story itself. So I kind of have this tendency to say that both story and gameplay are equally important. It just depends on what kind of a game we're talking about. And actually, I'm, I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, do you think story is more important or perhaps gameplay is more important? And, and for what kind, of the, what kind of a game do you think gameplay is more important or story?